Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we will show you how to seamlessly integrate Google Slides into your Wix website. Whether you want to showcase presentations, slideshows, or other content, we've got you covered. But before we jump in, into it, if you're new here or haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button below and do not forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. And to our returning viewers and subscribers, welcome back. You are the heart and soul of our channel and we are grateful for your continued support. Okay, adding slides into your Wix website. But first, before you, you can be able to add a Google Slides in your Wix website, all you gotta do is go to the web browser of your choice. I'm using Google Chrome right now, but Wix.com, matter of fact, is um is compatible to all known browsers such as Brave, uh, Firefox, Safari, Microsoft Edge. So once you are in Wix.com, all you gotta do is uh log into your account. Once you've logged into your account, okay, so once you've logged into your account, um, you might want to you might want to go to the interface of the website and go here where it says um, website, a Wix website editor, all right? How you can access that, go to your dashboard, okay? Go to your dashboard first and then go to um, edit site. It You will be hovered to the website editor, right? Okay, so once you are on the uh, Wix website editor, right? It'll load up for a little, a little while. Okay. Once it loads up, all I'm gonna do is, you see uh the the button here, the it was grayed out, but four four squares uh turns into pink ones. Click on that and go to. So type this in. Um, you're gonna type in a uh, slider. When you type in slider, you have to uh, select uh, this one, video and image slider gallery. Okay. All right. But before we continue, let me just share to you guys that adding sliders into your Wix website offers a lot of advantages that can enhance the user experience and provide valuable functionality. Why? Because Google Slides allows you to create dynamic interactive presentations that can engage your website visitors with a visually appealing content. Since your Google Slides are linked to a Google account, you know, you can easily update your presentations from Google Slides. So any changes made will automatically reflect on your Wix website, eliminating the need to edit the website directly. So how cool and handy is that, right? And once uh, you are on that, Google Slides supports real-time collaboration, enabling multiple people to work on the same presentation simultaneously. And this can be valuable you know, for team projects or when you have contributors who need to update the content. And also, Wix provides an embedded code feature that allows you to seamlessly integrate Google Slides into your website. You can now have full control on the size and placement of the presentation on your site. Now, all you got to do is add this one, add to site. And now hover here to your Google Slides. So, for example, this is your Google Slide. You can easily share your Google Slides presentation via a shareable link or by embedding this one, this link, to the website or blogs that you are creating. And now, it will allow you to extend the reach 
of your content. Because remember, interactive presentations can capture the attention of your audience, encouraging them to explore your website further and potentially leading to increased conversions, right? That's basic. So when we are here, This is now your this is now your uh slides. All I gotta do is custom set up this up to your preference, to whatever um, to whatever part of the website you would like it to uh to put it into, right? And also, if you want to include engaging presentations that can increase the time visitors spend on your website. This is a very good way to do it because it can potentially improve your SEO rankings. And once you once you've uh, done all of that, you have now put a Google slide to your Wix website. And once again, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe for more uh, useful videos. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, Please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.